rocked by an explosion in the middle of the Atlantic. A ship sailing from Baltimore is desperately trying to get to land. Two crew members are dead, another two critically injured. WJZ is live in Canton. Kimberly Eaton explains the complicated rescue effort as the ship races to get medical help thousands of miles away. Kimberly? And Mary, right now it's a matter of hurry up and wait. The ship out of range of U.S. rescuers, out of range of international rescuers, and desperately trying to get injured crew members to a hospital. In range to radio, out of range to rescue. A ship's call for help coming too far offshore Monday morning to save crew members aboard the 623-foot international cargo ship, the Tamar. This ship had left Baltimore and it was going fine until they had that explosion. It was en route from a coal terminal in Baltimore to Portugal when 1,300 miles off the U.S. coast, an explosion rocked the forward storeroom. One crew member killed, another died Monday night after suffering massive burns. Two others are still critically hurt as the ship races east to the closest hospital. This is a very long transit on all accounts to provide help as well as get the crew to safety. Generally, she says the Coast Guard would just send a helicopter and bring the crew back to shore. This time, distance a huge obstacle, making the ship unreachable for both U.S. and Portuguese rescuers. Pararescuers from the New York Air National Guard were able to reach the crew 14 hours after the captain radioed for help. Like in this 2012 training video, but using a search and rescue plane and then two small boats. They will stay on board until the ship reaches waters close enough for the Portuguese Coast Guard to send a helicopter. Our condolences go out to the families and members of the crew who have passed and are injured. And we're doing the best we can to make sure that they get to a hospital and receive the best medical care. And she says now is the time when perfect weather conditions need to come into play. But with that, the ship should be within rescue range this evening. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton, WJZ Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you. Crew members still do not know what caused the explosion.